the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum. Since the dawn of time, man has pursued the ultimate goal, superiority and supremacy. It always comes down to competition. The battle has been fought on many fields. Time has shown us these battles create victors. These battles create legends. The Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum is dedicated to protecting the heritage of our national summer sport. Conveniently located in the Welland Canal Centre in St. Catharines, Ontario, on display are the many artifacts, photos and trophies representing the rich and illustrious history of lacrosse in Ontario. Although played centuries prior by our Mohawk and Iroquois First Nations forefathers, lacrosse shares the same date of birth as our great country, July 1st, 1867. The Claxton Banner is one of the many historical artifacts that can be found on display at the Hall of Fame and Museum. In November of 1867, T. James Claxton donated four flags to the National Lacrosse Association. These flags were a highly sought after reward, presented to the winners of challenge competitions throughout the city of Montreal. The Claxton Banner hangs proudly in the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum today. Dr. George Beers, widely credited with naming the sport lacrosse. Beers also penned the first set of rules for the sport, used by the National Lacrosse Association, now known as the Canadian Lacrosse Association. These rules set in stone the solid foundation of our national pastime. When Beers' rules were published in a Montreal newspaper, he began a campaign to unify upwards of 35 club teams from across Quebec and Ontario. It set in motion a wave of enthusiasm that the sport would see bloom into our national game. The National Lacrosse Association was born. In 1901, the Minto Cup was introduced, setting in motion the pursuit of lacrosse excellence across the nation. Donated by Lord Minto, the then Governor General of Canada, currently the trophy is emblematic of our National Junior A Championships, but it hasn't always been that way. In the early years, senior club teams vied for the cup before giving way in 1937 to junior all-star teams assembled from provincial champion clubs. Finally in 1960, the Minto Cup became the symbol and epitome of junior A lacrosse supremacy in Canada. From 1901 to 1903, when the cup was presented to senior amateur champions, the Montreal Shamrocks won the title three of four years. As the professional champions trophy from 1904 through 1908, the Shamrocks would go on to hold the cup high three more times, losing in the final year to the new Westminster Salmon Bellies. That set off a dominant reign by the Salmon Bellies, who captured the cup an amazing 21 of 29 years. Competition for the Minto Cup was suspended during the World War I era. The Oshawa Green Gales set and still hold a record as the Junior A champions winning an incredible seven consecutive Minto Cup titles from 1963 to 1969. No team has come close to that feat in Minto Cup play since then. Gaylord honed his shooting skills practicing with his brothers at the homestead. It, no one could have guessed that all of these early efforts would lead to Gaylord being scouted by Jim Bishop, who would then persist through the many hoops necessary to get him from Six Nations to the Oshawa Green Gales in 1964, and the rest is history for number 15. Maybe the no-nonsense and disciplinary style of coaching led many to consider Jim Bishop as the greatest amateur lacrosse coach in Ontario history. The Man Cup. Originally held as a Challenge Cup, the Man Cup was first introduced in 1925. It became a symbol of Senior Box Lacrosse Championship in 1932. Alternating from East Coast to West Coast each year, it's contested by players at the highest level of the game. In the 10-year span between 2006 and 2016, the Man Cup has been awarded to an Ontario team an astonishing nine times an amazing feat considering the caliber of competition. Donated and presented by Canadian Northern Railway builder Sir Donald Mann, the trophy is a gold cup, making it one of the most valuable in sport. 
Considered by many the greatest senior team in the history of Man Cup play, the 1951-54 Peterborough Trailermen hold the record with four consecutive Man Cup victories. They're the only team in history to accomplish the feat in the senior national champion playoff era. That record stands today. The Trailermen were inducted into the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame as a complete team in 2002. The Cup has seen its share of turmoil. In 1989, the Man Cup was stolen from the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame in British Columbia. Feared to be melted down for its gold content, the Cup was later retrieved with little damage and otherwise in good condition. In 2004, while celebrating their Man Cup victory, the Peterborough Lakers accidentally dropped the Cup into a bonfire, destroying the replica as the real one lay in the CLA Hall of Fame. We had won the Man Cup five years in a row, so it felt like we had the Man Cup all the time. So when my brother Brendan won the Stanley Cup, I thought, we got to get a picture of the Man Cup and Stanley Cup together. I, I don't know if that picture's ever been done before. That picture you saw is in my mother's backyard with the Man Cup and the Stanley Cup together. I, I'm very proud of that picture. The Globe Shield, representing a major part of Ontario lacrosse history. The Globe Shield is a massive trophy presented annually to the senior amateur lacrosse champions in Ontario. Made from a solid sheet of sterling silver, the Globe Shield also has a wreath of gold maple leaves adorned by two delicate and intricate lacrosse sticks. The trophy was given by the Globe Publishing Company in 1901 to the Ontario Lacrosse Association, retired in 1938 and is on permanent display at the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum. The evolution of the sport of lacrosse has seen its vital equipment like the making of sticks change from generation to generation. As has the explosion in female participation in our great sport. Whether field or box, women's lacrosse is blossoming today across the country. Come and see the many artifacts that have been preserved and are on permanent display at the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum you'll be amazed at the amount of the sport's history on display. The sport of lacrosse has seen its share of international competition as well. Appearing as an Olympic sport on two occasions, in 1908, Canada won gold, defeating Great Britain. That gold medal is currently on display at the Hall of Fame. Modern Olympics started in 1896 in Athens. Lacrosse as a full medal sport has been in two Olympics, 1904 in St. Louis, 1908 in London. And, of course, Canada won gold medal in both of those. Currently played in upwards of 70 countries around the globe, the growing popularity of lacrosse has some wondering whether a return to the Olympic Summer Games is not only a possibility, but a likelihood in the not-too-distant future. Whether you visit with a group tour or just making a day trip with the family, at the Ontario Lacrosse Hall of Fame and Museum, you will find something for everyone to see and enjoy. Join us! Be a part of the experience. Be a part of history. Lacrosse, our country, our game.